Hey Brewers, it's Friday. I got a weird one for you today. Do you remember Red Eye? Have you ever had a Red Eye, like tomato juice or Clamato juice mixed with beer? Well, that was like the first booze I ever drank. My grandpa gave me one when I was about five. Okay, enough you. There you go. Gave me one when I was about five. I can remember, Lil, get the boy some Red Eye. And I was playing cards with the old folks. And I always thought, wouldn't it be cool to have like, an, like a ready-made Red Eye kegged? Maybe, maybe not. So what I'm gonna do is I actually brewed some Canadian ale in the last video. I split that into two ox bar kegs. What am I gonna do with the rest of my 21 liters? We're gonna put it into a third ox bar keg and stir in one can of tomato paste and just fucking see what happens. I don't know, it's gonna look like barf, might even smell like barf, but maybe it'll taste good. Who knows? I'm sorta looking forward to the results. We'll see, and then if it's good, you know, I'll try some more iterations and see what the fuck. Join me for a minute, we'll stir that in. Once I've got my beard from my other experiment transferred, then we'll stir this in and get moving. See you in a minute. All right, so I've transferred my other experiment. Now we've got about six, seven liters of our 1048, roughly 5%, what's gonna be roughly 5% ABV Canadian ale. And now let's open up our tomato paste. We're gonna stir it in there in the Bruzilla. Then we're gonna transfer it in to our ox bar keg, but I'm also gonna take a pH meter reading. Now you wanna be between four and five for your fermentation pH, something I never ever check, but I know that tomato paste has a very low pH, so I'm hoping it doesn't push us out of range. I don't really have anything to bring pH up here in the house, so I just kinda wanna know if something for some reason doesn't ferment or some shit, that'll be why. dollar store can opener. Come on, man. Don't fail me now. I got like three people watching. <sighs> what a piece of garbage. I don't know what's gonna have to do. We got our sanitized knife. Let's pry that up. Really not sure on this dosage. Like it maybe we don't even notice it. Maybe way too much. I'm really not sure. Yeah. So we'll see on this dosage. I'm really hoping this turns into something kind of cool. But you never know. You never know what's gonna happen on fucked up Fridays. Oh, that's a good stir. Really good stir. Not really stirring in very well. Also may have been advisable for me to like do this in a little side boil or something. But if this turns out well, I'll do a five gallon batch next time and we'll actually add it to the boil. It's just, I don't really know how well this is gonna turn out. So I didn't really wanna waste five gallons and a whole day brewing on it. Yeah, well, at least we know we got good, right? good aeration of the wort. It definitely got darker. Starting to wonder if I shouldn't have done twice as much here, maybe, but... What the hell? Let's transfer it and see what happens. Oh, actually, I want a hydrometer. I want a hydrometer sample on this one. And it looks like a weak red eye. I mean, maybe it'll, once some of our sugars are out there, maybe it'll darken up a bit. Again, this is a weird idea I literally had last night and I thought, what the hell? And there we go. Attempt number one, 
at pre-kegged red eye. I forgot my yeast. I'm gonna go grab some yeast, put that in, and put our thing on. Speed. Okay, where's my spawning valve? Boom. All right, label that sucker up and see what happens in two weeks. Actually, let's check our pH real quick. Quick rinse. Well, looks like we're gonna end up in the realm. the high end of the realm. Well, we're there. We're at the high end, that might actually help us. Beauty, well, we should get some fermentation in this mother. Science, see you in a couple weeks. Two weeks later. Hey brewers, I'm standing here in the fridge once again. <laughs> Excuse me. We tried, we, we pulled some Canadian ale and I wanted to try and make pre-made red eye. If you don't know what red eye is, it's tomato juice or clamato juice, depending on where you're from. Just mix with beer to a ratio that you like. It's one of the first drinks I ever had. My grandpa gave me some when I was like five. And we're just gonna try and recreate that, but just right out of the can, fermented tomato juice with the tomato flavor. I literally haven't pre-tasted this. I am super interested to see where we're going. And if it tastes even kinda good, we're gonna keep working on it, okay? so. I definitely smell a bit of tomato. Not a ton, which is a little concerning. And it's a little bit darker, like I just uh, I just tasted the like ones we didn't put tomato paste in from this wort, and obviously it's a little bit darker than that makes sense, right? This is not bad. I mean, we definitely, did not put enough, like the tomato paste is super, the tomato taste is super, super subtle, but it's definitely reminiscent of some red eye. I don't know what y'all think, but if you think, like if there's any red eye lovers out there, get at me if you, if you think I should, cause like this is not nearly tomato-y enough. I'm also just wondering like what happens with fruit if I'm just gonna put endless tomato and it's just gonna dry it out and get weird and not actually taste very tomato-y. But I think this is I think this is worth another shot. And I mean I brew light fizzy beers all the time for experiments, so I think we're gonna do this again. Like we only put one little can in, I believe. So next time we'll double or maybe even triple that and see what's up. In the meantime. This is super drinkable. I'm gonna put it on tap in the studio and see if any of the guys from the band can pick it out. And be like, what's what's the fuck here? And I'll, and I'll see if they can pick out the t tomatoes. I'm putting that down as a success. Not bold enough, but certainly drinkable. And in the end, as long as she's going down the hatch with no complaints, that's a win. Hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Cheers.